back to my channel. So for today's video, I am going to be doing a weekend in the life of a university student. So I've just woken up. It's actually about 20 past one. I actually slept in today. Um, but I am still going to have breakfast. So I'm going to go make myself some Weetabix and have a cup of tea. I've got a few things that I need to do today. Saturday is kind of like my cleaning and like laundry day. And I've actually got the whole flat on myself now because everybody else has went home. So basically being a nursing student, I'm actually here until the 1st of April because I've got my OSCE and everyone else has went home a week ago. So I'm currently by myself. I've got the whole flat on myself. So yeah, let's just see what we'll get up to. Okay, so I'm now back in my bedroom and I have got my chocolate with Epics and also my cup of tea. I love this cup. It's like got my like star sign on it and I am a Taurus and I just love it. So yeah, I'm going to eat this, watch some Grey's Anatomy because I am addicted to Grey's Anatomy at the minute and then I'm going to crack on getting stuff done. Okay, so I've just stripped my bed and I have been in the kitchen to wash my breakfast dishes. So I've got all my bedding down here ready to go in my washing basket. I do my washing every week for like clothes and stuff and towels, but then every month I wash my bedding. I would normally go and put my stuff in the washer now, but it only takes about 39 minutes to wash and I kind of need to my bedroom and my bathroom so I can hoover as well. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to dust my bedroom first and then once my stuff's in the washing machine, I can then come up and hoover my bedroom. be a weekend lover yeah i'ma be the best damn lover you got i wanna mess up your covers Okay, so as you'll have seen, I've pretty much just like cleaned my whole entire bedroom. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to move everything off my bed and shake it. Then I'm going to go and get the hoover. I'm going to hoover my mattress protector because I always do that before I put my new bed on. And then I'm going to hoover the floor. But honestly, this thing that I've got for the floor, if you haven't tried it before, put it on your floors. It's like literally the best thing ever. It's called Shake and Vac and it just makes your carpet smell absolutely amazing. Like literally, whenever I hoover my bedroom, everybody knows because it just smells like vanilla. So yeah, I would highly recommend getting this. It makes your room smell amazing and you can even use it on wood flooring as well. So yeah, that's what I'm going to do now. I'm going to try and shake my rug out as much as I can. Not going to lie, I'll probably get rid of that rug at the end of the year because it's really getting on my nerves. It's so hard to clean and hoover. I was going to put it in the washing machine, but um, I don't want to risk it. So I'm just going to try and hoover it and shake it out the best that I can. And then I'm going to go and put my washing in the washing machine finally. Okay, so... My floor is now nicely hoovered so now I need to get my washing basket from under my bed so I do actually have a laundry bin but I don't carry my washing down in that I have like a separate bag. So this is a bag I use to put all of my washing in it's literally just like a massive reusable bag um, and I think I got this from Pound Stretcher for like £1, £2.99 or something but honestly it's a lifesaver when you're carrying stuff down to the machines. 
So here is all the washing I've got to do. I know it looks like a lot, but I've actually only got quite like a small little washing basket. I thought it would be cute at the time, but now I'm realising it's not the best option. So I might have to buy a bigger one. But yeah, I'm now going to pack that into the carrier bag, add some washing machine tablets and also get my salt ready. If you're wondering why I'm taking salt down to the washing machine, it basically helps when you're washing your clothes all together so the colours don't run. I know that sounds absolutely stupid and you're thinking, yeah, right, whatever, Claire. But honestly, save yourself the money with colour catchers and buy yourself like an 89 pence big bottle of salt and honestly you'll think us later I'll pop it in with your clothes and it catches all the colours that run so yeah that's um, a little tip if you're going to university and you didn't know that okay just while we're on the conversation of talking about things that you need for university I would highly recommend getting one of these for the washing machine I basically put all of my socks in here so they don't get lost in the washing machine or in the tumble dryers so yeah get one of these laundry little bags to shove in the washing machine because they're super handy so I'm thinking I'm gonna have to do two washing machines today which is such a pain because it's so expensive to wash at university like it's £3.30 for a wash and then £1.70 for a dry but that mounts up like over the weeks when you're doing washing every single week so yeah so i'm gonna have to do two washing machines and then a dryer because of the amount of stuff i've got look at all this it's like so full our washing machines aren't actually in our building they're kind of in the forum which is like in the middle of our college so i need to like walk down some stairs and walk over to the forum luckily it's only like a two minute walk for me but if you're living in other blocks that are like kind of far away from it it's kind of annoying but yeah i'm gonna do that go down to the washing machines and i'll show you the washing machines when i get there as well just in case you're curious Just for reference, my blocks are there and then here is the forum where the laundry is. So, okay, so here is the forum. So there's like a couple of vending machines. There's like stuff up there. That's where I kind of went to collect my room keys when I got here. And then it's just the toilet and another machine. Not really that interesting, but yeah. Well, washing machines are literally just here, right at the bottom of the corridor. So annoyingly, I've just remembered that I didn't actually bring my hand towel down from my bathroom. So I'm not going to have to go and get that before I set the washing machines off. Honestly, I always do this. I get here and then I forget something, so I always have to go back. Honestly, campus is actually so peaceful today. I love it. Like, I absolutely love this campus on East because you've got, like, a massive lake. And then it's just so modern and nice. And honestly, I just love this campus. So if you come to the University of York and you don't want to live on your own campus, like where you're studying, I would highly recommend coming to East Campus because it's just so pretty. I think that's one thing I'm actually going to miss about next year whilst I'm living in the city centre. It's just like the calmness and the nice views and everything. So yeah, I'm really going to miss it. But I'm looking forward to moving into my studio apartment, which is really exciting. So yeah, I'm going to stop blabbering now because I think this vlog will already really long and it's only Saturday so yeah I'm gonna go. Okay so I'm now back in my room. Annoyingly enough I've just actually realised that I didn't put my bath mat in the wash so that's gonna have to go in after the holidays when I get back and do my first load of washing which is kind of annoying but it is what it is. So basically now I'm going to clean and hoover my bathroom. I'm not going to bore you with a time lapse because you've already seen so many time lapses already. So I'll just show you after. Okay, so I've cleaned my bathroom. So I've put my new bath mat down. I've got my new towels hanging up. And yeah, everything's clean. So I am happy. But now I need to go and get my washing before it starts pouring down my room. Okay, so I'm now back in my room and I brought my massive bag of laundry back. So I'm now going to hang these up on my air dryers that I've got, but I just thought I would show you the air dryers that I've got in case you come to university and you find them handy. So I've got this big air dryer here. It's rose gold. This is from b and I think it was £15, but it's just so handy because it's got like these little like grips on that you can hang 
your bras or knickers or whatever and then it's got like, like three racks that you can dry stuff on and then i also bought an air dryer for my radiator so this one just hangs over the radiator like this and obviously it's really good because obviously the heat coming from the radiator dries the clothes quite quickly so yeah that was £2.99 from pound stretcher yeah i'm now gonna hang my clothes and then i'm gonna go make something to eat because i am absolutely stuck okay so it's currently five to five and i know it's technically already nearly tea time but i'm just having my lunch now so i'm just making myself a pizza wrap so i basically just got a wrap with some tomato puree and some italian seasoning on and then i think got some pepperoni here so i'm gonna use that and then i'm also going to put some peppers on too and of course some mozzarella cheese and just like that it's done it's a little crispy and burnt around the edges i was kind of on the phone to my boyfriend and i kind of forgot about it but um you know what's fine we'll just uh, cut them bits off okay so it's about an hour later now and i'm just taking some rubbish out of the bins from my bedroom and then i'm gonna go and get my drying out of the dryer nice dry fluffy towels honestly i hate drying them on my air dryer because they go really stiff but we'll have to see okay, it so i'm back in my room i've got my dry in if anyone's wondering why i put my spare bed in and stuff i basically got like this little thing it's kind of got a hole in so i kind of need to sew it um but yeah i put my spare bed in here and then put it under my bed so underneath here in my second drawer is kind of where all my spare stuff goes that i'm not using at the minute so there's stuff at the back there that i know i'm not going to use until i move into my apartment next year and then i've got like my clothes seam and pack lunch boxes and everything so yeah i'm gonna put my spare set of towels and bedding under my bed and then i will make my bed with my other bedding let's sing a song full of hope full of pain why don't you sing along my friend for it's our last refrain forever young like that my bed is made i know it's not the neatest but it's kind of really annoying to try and make these beds because basically you've got like the stop at the back here and i really can't be bothered to like tuck that under so yeah this is my bed if anyone's wondering where my bedding is from this bedding is from i think it's from the range or denelm and then these two pillows here are from primark this is from B&M and this throw is also from B&M. Okay, so I've just gone out of the shower but I've actually came onto my laptop just to like show you what I've just ordered from my second year apartment because I'm really excited. Okay, so I've just ordered this set of pans off Studio. I was originally going to get the Studio ones but for the three pans it was £45. For two frying pans it was going to be £20. So these are only £25 and they're meant to be non-stick and they're like literally exact same colour as the tower ones I was going to get. So I'm hoping that they're good because if they are, that would be great so I could save myself some money. But how beautiful are these pans? Like, can't wait to get my hands on them. Like, they're just Studios' own brand but I just think they're so cute. Like, I just can't even. So my mum ordered the same ones so basically I think she's going to start using them as soon as she gets them, I hope. So I can see whether they're good or not. If they are, I'll keep them. If not, I'll probably just like sell them and get the tower ones. But yeah, I'm just really happy that I saved some money because honestly buying stuff for my second year apartment is costing us a fortune. So basically all I've got left to do now is get my floor lamp, my rug, my ottoman to go at the bottom of my bed and like a kitchen roll holder as well and my griddle pan. And then I saw these really cute like bottles on an Instagram page that I really want to get for my shampoo and conditioner to go in my shower. So I'm going to keep the ensuite the same but kind of just add some stuff into it. And then my whole living room and stuff is going to be kind of like Scandinavian. And then my kitchen is saying like pink and rose gold and stuff because obviously my kitchen's grey. So yeah, but that uh, actually reminds us i'll show you some other stuff that i've just ordered for my apartment as well okay so i've basically been looking on the internet and like in the shops and stuff for ages for one of them like wicker baskets that i can put like blankets and stuff in and i just couldn't find one that i like like all the ones that were out were just like gray or like they were like the color i wanted but they had pink pom-poms on and i don't want pink like it's just been driving us insane but i was sat scrolling through i saw its first home range the other day and i found this really cute basket and it was exactly what i'm looking for so let's just show you so this is a basket that i picked up for my apartment how cute is this like i'm actually obsessed with it it came to my house today um obviously i got it delivered to home but oh, just i'm absolutely obsessed with it like how cute is it 
so it's like beige and it's basically reduced down to £16.80 at the moment instead of it being £28 so I was really happy with that but yeah I'm just absolutely obsessed with it so yeah and then also for my apartment I really wanted a coffee machine so I could have like hot chocolates and I'm actually gonna try to make myself like coffee especially with being a student nurse like I need something to get through the day so basically I asked my boyfriend for one of the white coffee machines from Curry's so this is the one he's got me for my birthday i've actually already got it at my house because it was on sale um so he just got it straight away um but he doesn't like the whole thing at his house so this is my coffee machine that i've got for next year and i'm literally so flipping excited like to have a coffee machine i know that's really sad but i just like i'm really excited so yeah that's a few things that i'm getting for my apartment next year i have actually already bought some other stuff as well um, but I will be doing that like kind of in a haul so I am going to be doing a haul of like the stuff that I bought for my second year apartment I may have to do it in two hauls because some stuff I haven't been able to get my hands on yet the rug that I want from Matalan is absolutely beautiful but it's sold out and it's been sold out for like a month and I've got no idea when it's coming back into stock and it's really stressing us out because it's literally like the cheapest rug I've found it's like £100 for like the biggest size and I just really want it. I don't want to have to spend like £140 or £260. Like, I just want this one from Matalan because it's perfect. Okay, so yeah, I will be obviously doing a haul. I'll probably film it when I'm back home of all the stuff I've bought so far. So yeah, stay tuned for that. Okay, so it's like five past seven and I kind of forgot that and the next Saturday night tea where we were starting. So I'm going to quickly run in the kitchen and put the TV on because I don't want to be stuck in my room all night. Okay, so I'm just kind of chilling on the sofa watching Saturday night takeaway because I kind of forgot it was on. So I like ran to the kitchen, but then I couldn't find the dish which is really annoying. And yeah, that's what I'm doing right now. I'm in my dressing gown. I brought in my pillow and I'm not gonna lie i'm really really comfortable i think i'm gonna make tea at about eight o'clock or maybe when this is finished i'm not quite sure i'm literally gonna hibernate on the sofa it's actually great having the whole apartment and myself because i never come in and sit and watch the tv because normally everyone's like partying on the weekend so yeah i'm really enjoying myself right now so that's what i'm doing okay so saturday night takeaway is on its last break so now i'm going to make some food because it's 10 past 8 and i'm like really hungry so i'm gonna stop making my dinner now okay so sadly my sweet potatoes are off so i'm just gonna have to have frozen chips sausage and broccoli and gravy so yeah that's a bit disappointing but i do need to eat my chips so okay so here's my tea and honestly i'm so excited to eat this i actually can't remember the last time that i had a dinner like this i'm really excited i feel like i went overboard with the chips which is kind of annoying because i'm really good at portioning but um oh well let's up again so what the hell <laughs> so now i'm gonna eat this and i've currently just got some youtube up on the tv and then i think i'm gonna watch avengers because i'm kind of in the mood for a marvel film i don't know we'll see i'm defeated and i'm kind of really annoyed because I want to do all of my sausages, but I physically can't eat anything else. I'm so full. I say that, but I'll probably end up having some Ben and Jerry's ice cream later whilst I'm watching films. But I'm now going to get my water out of the fridge and pour it into my bottle. And then I'm going to sit and watch Avengers. Okay, this is such an unflattering angle right now, but basically I'm in bed. It's a lot later. I, I tried to watch the Avengers on the TV, but for some reason with my laptop connected to the HDMI cable, I couldn't get the sound to come through the TV and it was really irritating us. So yeah, I just came to bed and I've literally just been watching like YouTube videos and editing this video. So I'm going to go to sleep now and I'll catch you guys in the morning. Good night. Hey everyone, so it is now Sunday. I've kind of just been like late in bed for the past hour just like watching YouTube and stuff like that. I woke up at 21 a day and it is now 22 but I'm still going to make some breakfast so I think I actually want to go and make some pancakes because I was watching YouTube this morning and someone had pancakes in my daily vlog and it's kind of made me really want pancakes so yeah let's go get some okay so i made my pancakes but i was kind of on the phone to my mom so i just kind of started tucking into them but yeah i just made like normal pancakes with like eggs flour and milk and then i just put the towel on the top so i'm gonna eat this and i'm gonna watch some more Grey's Anatomy. okay so it's a bit later now i've literally just been like chilling watching Grey's Anatomy because i'm like addicted to it and i've had nothing better to do i was gonna go on a walk today because um there's like a cow farm nearby that i really wanted to go and see the cows but um it's a bit too windy to be going for a walk so i am gonna go for a walk in a bit because i need to go to the shop to get some more milk but now i'm gonna go and clean the kitchen down so i need to put a new sponge on my dish matic 
And then I also need to fill it up with some fairy liquid. This is the one I use. It's like the moisturizing one. And then I am using the pink stuff to clean down the benches, if anybody cares. But they're my favorite cleaning products. So yeah, I'm going to go and do that now. Whilst I was cleaning that, I figured out we had a random plant here. I'm not sure whose it is. That's strange. Like, what do I do? Do I need to water it? Or should I leave it? Like, no one said anything about it, so... But anyways, I've finished cleaning down, like, the surfaces and the couches and everything. And I've literally just got the things to do. And then the whole kitchen will be done. I'm kind of glad I'm here by myself because the kitchen's, like, nice and tidy. <laughs> but I think I'm going to do some hoovering as well because, obviously... We'll have cleaners that come in every week, but it's just nice to obviously keep it on top of it just so they don't have that much to do. So yeah, I'm gonna get that done and then I don't know what else I'm gonna do. I need to go to the shop, so I'll probably go to the shop because I need some fresh air and I need to get some steps in today. And other than that, I'm pretty much bored. Like I'm literally so annoyed that I'm still here. Like I basically finished the same time as everybody else, but we had like a reading week, which is like where you catch up with work. So technically we're here for an extra week. But I thought that the reading week was actually going to be the week of my OSCE, so I'm basically here just like for the sake of it waiting for my OSCE, but it's kind of annoying because groups A to D have got their OSCE tomorrow, so they can go home earlier and I have to wait until Thursday because I'm in group A, so yeah, it's kind of annoying. I wish they had if like done the OSCEs earlier for the people who were living in so they could go home because I don't understand why we have to wait an extra three days, but... It is what it is, I'm going to stop complaining and I'm going to finish cleaning the kitchen. Okay, so the kitchen's nice and clean and tidy. We'll love to see it. Yeah, I basically look a sweaty, hot mess because obviously I've been cleaning and hoovering the kitchen. But now I'm going to nip to the shop because I need some milk and I think I need some more lettuce and cucumber as well. Guys, I've just got back from the shop and I was sat on my bed talking to my mum. But look, there's a little bunny rabbit outside my bedroom. I'm actually obsessed with this canvas because there's just so many bunny rabbits like jumping around. There's like millions of them. If you go out on a night time, there's just loads of them hopping all over and they're so cute. Oh my god can't even oh my gosh guys stop it's still there and it's just laid down it's so cute oh my god i literally just want to go and get it and bring it inside as my pet it's adorable so it's currently seven o'clock and i am hungry i didn't actually end up having any dinner because by the time i cleaned the kitchen and everything it was already like 20 past five by the time i went to the shop so yeah on the bright side though, the kitchen smells absolutely divine. <laughs> I think it's probably the best it's smelled since I've moved in. The weather outside is absolutely awful. It's like raining and everything. And I'm just not a fan of it. So I'm just closing all the windows. But yeah, like I said, I'm gonna make my tea now. So I think I'm gonna have like a chicken breast salad. It's kind of what I'm fancy and that's kind of why I went to the shop. So these are the chicken that I use. It's just the chicken breast fillets from Iceland. And I just cooked it with these, cut it up, put it with some salad. Get some sweet chilli sauce and mayonnaise and pop it on top. I wanna be a weekend lover. Yeah, 
I'ma be the best damn lover you got. I wanna mess up your covers. I don't wanna meet your mother. Never ever ask me how I've been. Okay, so I've prepared the salad and now I've actually got a book that I wanted to start reading. So I'm gonna sit and start reading this because I'm kind of sick of watching TV and like staring at a screen and I'm starting to get really bad headaches so I'm going to start reading my books that I brought to university. So here is my tea. Honestly, I can't remember the last time I had this. I used to eat it all the time. I'm so excited just to tuck in because it just looks so good. Oh my god guys, so honestly I've just had the worst thing possible happen to us. I basically had my window open today and I don't, I don't understand how it's gotten in my bedroom. But basically, I shut my window and I didn't hear it earlier. So I've just been on the group chat and I've just realised that I did something wrong on something like a bit of my work um, that I needed to go and change and re-upload. So I basically went into my bedroom and I was sat down at my desk and all I could hear was this buzzing sound. And I was like, what the hell is that? Turned around. There was a massive wasp like on my light bulb. And I was like, oh my God, no. Like I just ran out of my bedroom. And then I came into the kitchen and then I went back in to like see if it was still there and I couldn't hear it. So I just like opened my blind and opened my window. But I don't know where it's gone and it's like freaking us out so I don't know what to do. Like I'm like, do I ring security to come and see if it's still there and get it out? Because honestly, I have such a phobia of bees and wasps that nah, I can't cope. So I opened my window and I've just went back in and I can't see it anywhere and I like flicked like my blinds and my curtains and like move stuff around in my bedroom and I can't see it or hear it but honestly if it's still there I think I'm gonna cry because I'm absolutely petrified of them and I really just don't want to go to bed now so yeah that's my story time for the night fact of the matter is I'm just absolutely petrified of bees and wasps and now I don't want to sleep in my room I'm really tempted to just bring my pillows and my quilt into the living room and sleep on the couch i'm not gonna lie like i'm absolutely petrified of them you're probably thinking claire that is so pathetic but honestly i'm petrified of them and i don't have anyone here who can get them out of my room as well so that's just great okay so i just went in my room and it seems to have been gone but like do you know when you just don't see something like fly out a window or like disappear and you just like don't know where it is like that's me right now like i've went in my room and i shook everything and i haven't seen it or heard it but still it's just really freaking as hell like i just don't want to sleep in my bedroom oh so yeah i've basically came in at the living room i've got one of my cushions from my bed and i've also got my throw and i've got my laptop and i'm just gonna watch a bit of Grey's anatomy and then when i'm tired i'll go to bed and hopefully it won't be there. I don't think it is. I think it is gone, but I just don't understand where it came from because my window wasn't open and even when it was open earlier, I didn't hear it. So I just don't understand. But I've got a late night snack. I'm having some twill bites that I bought from the shop earlier. So yeah, I think I'm going to end this vlog here. So if you enjoyed this video, please give it a huge thumbs up and let us know if you like seeing vlog content or not. I'm not quite sure like if you guys like it or not but if you do let us know and i will do some more obviously when i start placement i'll be doing like work days in the life of a student nurse and everything and like tips for placement but if you have any video suggestions leave them down below or if you would like any university content like answering questions or anything let me know but yeah if you enjoy my content please subscribe down below and press the bell notification to be notified every time i upload a video and other than that i will see you in my next video bye guys <laughs>